Hi everyone, welcome to MC Lodge for another week. Um, had to, uh, a little bit disappointing last week, just had to scratch a couple of horses, so your pink and spherical uh, from their races, uh, they just had a little bit of a snotty nose and uh, quite ironically they're both in stables and uh, they got a bit of a snotty nose where the horses outside and the cold and wet have been uh, really, really healthy, so a little bit disappointing, had to scratch them. So I only had the one runner through the week, uh, it was a filly called Miss Satine, um, she probably went as good as she can go, she drew a wide barrier and didn't have much luck but stuck on and only got a couple of lengths for fourth, so in that similar sort of grade, draws a barrier, uh, her next start she should be uh, around a about the money. Uh, runners this week will, um, uh, once again, there's a couple of horses that just got a little bit of a snotty nose, so uh, a little bit hesitant to uh, uh, take them to the races. Uh, so we'll just be uh, really mindful and taking a lot of temperatures and uh, for the horses we've got running. running. But uh, we'll definitely be running Merchant on Sunday. Uh, his work through the week was great. He's now had two runs under his belt and uh, he, we've given him plenty of time to get over him after a long break and uh, he sh seems to be right on target. Damien Oliver's going to ride him and uh, if he uh, draws a nice barrier, I wouldn't imagine it's going to be all that big a field and on his home track at Geelong, uh, he should go pretty well. Trialled a couple of horses through the week, one of them being Satorius. Uh, he had a nice soft trial, a uh, nice little um, uh, two-year-old, a three-year-old filly, also had a trial um, by More Than Ready filly and a horse called London Fog and we'll show a bit of footage of that a little bit later on. Uh, here's Satorius, look he uh, began beautifully, put himself in a really good spot, Josh Cartwright rode him, uh, he's running third or fourth early, uh, tracked into the trial really really good and, and worked home under a sort of, a, I wouldn't say a stranglehold, but under a pretty soft riding there for Josh and was really good, he actually took a fair bit of pulling up so uh, that was a thousand metre trial, he seems to be right on target now to uh, run on the, on the 30th of August in the Memsey and um, he'll have a couple of nice little short sharp gallops now and uh, be all ready to rock and roll. He's a nice little three-year-old filly uh, by More Than Ready out of Countess Chloe. Um, hopefully her name will be through this week, but um, uh, seems to be have a lot of ability. Got a long way back. This was actually her first trial. Got a long way back and uh, steamed to the line. Um, uh, I love seeing horses trial, young horses trial like this. She uh, really, really uneducated and uh, seemed to do a lot right. There's a, a massive amount of upside for her. Uh, the big boy London Fog had a, had a jump out, uh, wasn't going to trial him but the way circumstances worked out the best option for him was give him a jump out and uh, he went good. Uh, Josh had to ride him pretty hard and to uh, get the best out of him but he runs second in the trial and uh, he looks all ready to go to the races. Um, you would think with this horse when he gets to 14 or 1600 metres he'll, um, he'll uh, start to come into his own but uh, we'll probably step him out in the 1300 metre race or something like that first up in the next two weeks. Yeah, pretty amazing industry, our industry. Um, our stable apprentice, Josh Cartwright, uh, won the Country Apprentices uh, Championship again in Victoria this year, and then he had the excitement of going over to Sacramento. Uh, since he's been home, he's been a little bit crook, and uh, Josh was a guest speaker last night at the uh, Geelong Thoroughbred Club function, and uh, here's a bit of footage of what's going on with Josh at the moment. Yeah, so the last few weeks I've uh, been feeling a bit crook and ordinary, and uh, I sort of have a few good days and then uh, feel very weak and tired. The next few, so I went and got a blood test, and uh, I've got uh, well, it's called hemochromatosis, so you get extremely high iron levels. So, I'll, I'll, even though I got suspended yesterday, I was actually planning on having to have eight days off because I've got to go and give two lots of blood and get my iron levels back down and get on some medication. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'm very happy to find out uh, what the problem was anyway because it was uh, it was. I was scratching my head and it was getting quite frustrating. I just couldn't work out why I was so weak. Um, so the last few weeks I've been off colour and uh, had to miss a couple of race meetings because I've been so crook. But um, yeah, I'll get through it. But um, yeah, i just got to keep going back to the doctor and uh, we'll get it right. The mayor of Geelong, Darren Lyons, was spot on with his tip last week. He's after Pete Sanders' record of three weeks in a row. Here's Darren with this week's tips. Hi, I'm Darren Lyons, Darren Lyons' brother. Not really. Darren's a bit crook today. He's asked me to step in for him. Go Geelong, giddy up. Go Geelong races on Sunday. Race six, horse two, merchant. Isn't that a shop? No, it's apparently, it's a really good race horse. Giddy up. One of our great sportsmen clubs here in Geelong is the Geelong Breezy's Club. Uh, next Wednesday on the 20th of August we have uh, Robert Dippy and Domenico as the uh, guest speaker. Should be a great night. Contact the details below and come and join us for a great evening.
That's it for another week at MC Lodge. Thanks very much for joining us. Go, keep going to our website and uh, supporting the stable and seeing what we're on about. Um, I see the, a bit of the coat starting to break on a few of the horses, so spring mightn't be too far away. A couple of young horses and uh, the good horse Sartorius is starting to get right up to uh, serious galloping now. We're only about uh, two weeks off uh, really kicking off in the spring, so exciting time for all. Uh, good punning. See you next week.